I'm Carlos Rousseau. I'm a chef, a native of Vermillion Parish, and a great admirer of all things Cajun. I'm on a mission to explore the culture of the most Cajun place on earth. I'm heading over to the Acadian Museum of Erev to meet with local Cajun historian Warren Perrin to get a history lesson on the development of Vermillion Parish and the French influence still being seen today. Put me on the spot and say, what's the most unique thing about the Cajun culture? I would point out, as Dr. Barry Ancelet has noted, that the Acadian culture, and by the way, Cajun is a corruption of the word Acadien, right. which was the way to call an Acadian, okay. and it was eventually shortened to the English version of Cajun and Cajun. Okay. So it's basically interchangeable. All but right. The only ethnicity to develop wholly within North America and not be imported from Europe is the Acadian culture. Awesome. Today, it's really a mixture. It's, a, it's an ethnogenic mixture of several cultures, the primarily one being the Frenchness. Uh, interestingly, uh, Carlos, the language that the Acadians spoke was considered Old French because there were over a thousand dialects when the Acadians deported France in 1604. And it wasn't until 1638 that Cardinal Richelieu of France mandated a standardized French. But the Acadians had been gone for 30 years. Correct. So their French became stuck in time. And they spoke the same dialect from 1600s until the 1800s in Louisiana. They went and they recruited French teachers from Paris to try to teach Louisiana kids a Parisian so-called standard French. And their grandpa and grandma didn't know what the kids were saying. Finally, it was realized that we can also have French teachers come teach standard French, that's okay. But we then began recruiting from Quebec, Nova Scotia, African countries, all Senegal, of all of these former French colonies had a much closer link linguistically than Paris did. Today, we mix it all up. We use a little of everything. Now, was there a specific place in France where the Acadians came from? Were they in a group there? Yes. And where was that? They were recruited uh, by uh, the uh, founder of the colony, Champlain, he selected those families that had a desire to start a new life because Europe was coming out of hundred years religious wars. Mm -hmm. These people, these Acadians were serfs. They could not own property. And so it was a start of a new life. And they knew that these were resourceful, hardworking people. And this is critical. They had developed an industry of harvesting salt from seawater a knowledge of the tides, and that served them well. If you'd say, give me one word that makes an Acadian different from anybody in history, it's this little piece of wood, a boiteau. And it's basically a flat valve, which they used a tree, carved out, put a valve, built a dike around it, and they withheld the sea. Rather than move rocks and cut trees and go inland for foreign land, they said, no, the rich land is where the sea has been depositing for millions of years. We're gonna, we're gonna take the land from the sea and plant it. So by building these systems of dikes, they, over 150 years, they claimed over 2,000 acres of rich farmland. That required knowledge of the sea, which they already had, and it required something else, very critical, community effort. Because when that tide is out, everybody in the village better be working because that tide's coming back in 12 hours. Once the Acadians had been in the French colony of Acadie for about 50 years, they stopped calling themselves French men and began calling themselves Acadians as part of this place where they had inhabited okay. in 1604. And they okay. were there for 150 years until 1755 when the British exiled them in this ethnic cleansing that took okay. place about 90 families were living in Acadie when the British decided to exile them all. There were about 15,000 people in the 
in these 90 families, they were read this order of deportation and okay. said, in the name of the King of England, you are forfeiting your lands and everything you own, and you will be sent to another land. They captured about 5,000 by that method, surprise, and uh, put them on ships and sent them to the British colonies. Therefore, what happened to the other 10,000 Acadians should be your question. 5,000 were killed or died. Two ships went down, totally wiping out certain family names that never survived. And about 5,000 managed to escape. And so the Acadians had nowhere to go. As Longfellow said, the exile begins never to end. We've been people like drift, driftwood at sea ever since. Louisiana was the hope. The Cajun culture is one born out of struggle and a will to carry on. The first Acadians were industrious people, and that same hard-working communal spirit is the divining characteristic of Vermillion Parish today. Jolie well land. Please be here when I grow. My family.